Good morning, friends. Welcome to my week number 15 of my weight loss journey. This week has been amazing. I kept strictly to my diet this week. I drank plenty of fluids. I ate right and as well as I did my exercise, okay? And I weighed myself this morning and I lost five pounds. I'm so excited about it. Last week I weighed 185.5, I think. And this week I weighed, oh, sorry, today, this morning, I weighed 180.5, so I think I lost five pounds for the one week. I'm excited, I'm happy about it. And also, I would like to know how you are doing with your own weight loss journey. Please, you can share this video to encourage other people that want to lose weight. Share the video, then ask them to subscribe, Hit subscribe so that whatever I post, you get a notification about it. Yes, a couple of questions I've been asked is um, how to get started on your weight loss journey. I think I will let you know. First and foremost, if you want to lose weight, you have to take the decision. You know, it's up to you. You have to decide, yes, I want to lose weight. And you have to change your habit. You know what is right and what is wrong. When I started, I knew what my morning habit was. I love croissant sandwich. Sometimes I eat two croissant sandwich for breakfast. And I drink my cup of coffee with cream and sugar. And at the end of the day, I find that I'm consuming almost 2,000 calories just for breakfast. In the afternoon, I might take rice to lunch with beef or chicken or whatever. At the end of the day, just for lunch alone, I've consumed over 2,500. And I don't exercise. So, if you want to lose weight, you look at your pantry. What are you storing? If you have a bunch of cookies and all that, you know, that all that got to go. You can bring out a door or two where you treat yourself, but five days a week, you try to make changes. Now, I can drink my cup of coffee without anything. Sometimes I might have fruit or salad for breakfast, and I'm okay, I'm satisfied. And like I, I always tell you guys, before you eat any meal, try to drink a bottle of water or two. You find that that helps you in limiting your, the portion that you eat. And if you do that consistently, you get used to it. Like for me now, when I wake up, I come downstairs to the basement here and I walk out for 30 minutes or an hour. Then when I go upstairs, I drink a bottle of water or two bottles. Even I exercise, I have my bottle of water here. I drink it and that's start kicks, kicks off my day. And at the end of the day, you know, I try to make sure that I eat my dinner before six o'clock. I'm doing that consistently. And even at six, if it is too late, I might just get myself a fruit or a salad and that's it. So if I know that my heavy food is, I try to eat my heavy food on or before 4 p.m. And by so doing, I found the weight dropping gradually, gradually, and consistently. Yeah, when I started exercise, you guys saw me. If you can go watch my first video that I posted, I couldn't even last on treadmill for 15 minutes. I was so short of breath. And after that, my whole body was aching. I was in pain. I couldn't walk up the stairs because of the ache. But as I continued, the pain stopped the aching stopped even then before then my knees will hurt when i climb the stairs 
my knee pain, all of that stopped. And what happened? I realized that my knee pains were due to my overweight. Even right now, I'm still overweight, you know, and I know I still have to get down. I was at my doctor's office two days ago. I was on the scale. He said, oh, you're overweight because my BMI was about 29. That I need to get down. I said, I'm working on it and I'm still working on it and I still have a long way to go. So feel free to ask me any question and I will get to my exercise and do my thing this morning. And at the end of the day, I will let you guys see the distance, the calories I lost and, um, and all that. And I'll get to talk to you guys same time next week. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask me. And if you know anything that will help me out, I've been getting a lot of feedback. People are telling me about different kinds of diets or exercise that are all day. I look at it and then uh, and I'm happy and I'm grateful for all your words of encouragement and no going back. Nothing is going to stop us, not, not even COVID, okay? Yeah, if you're outside working out, Social, remember to social distance. If you are indoors in your own house, that's good. But sometimes not everybody can do it in their homes. I love going to the park or walking in my neighborhood. But right now in New Jersey, oh my God, the heat is excruciating. And I can't wake up early enough, especially during the weekdays, maybe around 5 30 or 6 to go and uh, walk out before going to work. So, you know, I will continue doing this until the weather cools down. Okay? And um, let me know how you're, you know, getting along with your own uh, weight loss journey. Let us encourage one another. Let us build each other up. And as far as I'm concerned, no going back. Not for me. I bet not for you. All right. Thank you. And I'll get to talk to you some other time. And like I told you earlier, I'll let you know how I did on the treadmill. Okay. Bye. Good morning, friends. Welcome to my week number 15 of my weight loss journey. This morning, I'm going to weigh myself as usual to find out how I've been doing all week. So, let me go for it. Yes, time for me. I am 180.5. Wow, it's like I lost five pounds. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. Hi, friends. I've been walking out for 52 minutes. I think I'll call it a day now. I do it. And I burned 524 calories at the speed of 4.5. Let me stop this. I'm tired already. So this is the full picture. This is the full picture, 52 minutes. I walked the distance of four miles, burned 525 calories. Okay, I'll speak with you guys sometime next week. Bye.